हेलो फ्रेंड्स वेलकम टू योगिक एंड मॉडर्न साइंस फ्रेंड्स टुडे लेट्स मूव ऑन टू द नेक्स्ट शिव सूत्र इन द सेकंड पार्ट द नेक्स्ट सूत्र इज मातृका चक्र संबोधन इट मींस द परफेक्ट नॉलेज ऑफ मल्टीट्यूड्स ऑफ लेटर्स और द नॉलेज ऑफ मल्टीपल types of different sounds multiple sounds now the knowledge of different sounds is the matter of prakriti so whatever knowledge we have about the different sounds it is all taking place in the prakriti because in the pure energy of consciousness there is no sound but due to the dynamism of the pure energy of consciousness it is producing its own sound and this sound is reflected in the whole prakriti in the form of sounds that we know or we are aware of in this way there are multiple sounds in the prakriti lord shiva is saying matrika chakra matrika chakra means different multitude of sounds or multitude of letters there is one more thing or one more meaning of matrika matrika also means the mother means something which produces something else the producer or the mother now let us understand these two things one by one matrika chakra which i have explained and sambodha means the knowledge knowledge of those sounds <clears throat> in our yogic systems <clears throat> where we always talk about the three principles or three eternal principles one is the pure consciousness the energy of pure consciousness the cosmos the prakriti second <clears throat> and third is their minute form called jivatmas in the prakriti friends <clears throat> the energy of consciousness it is around the whole prakriti and it is in the dynamic form it is not something static and <clears throat> due to its dynamism it produces a sound shabd many people say it sabad okay so this is the primal sound in the prakriti there are two things from the yogic science point of view sakar and nirakar there is a system of two things sakara and nirakara there are jivatmas also but the sound or shabd is the matter of prakriti and the sound the primal sound of the pure energy of consciousness now in the prakriti there is a system of two sakara and nirakara or from the perspective of other schools of thought for example sankhya prakriti is composed of three guna three attributes sat raj and tam so these three attributes are there in the prakriti or the prakriti is nothing but the combination of these three attributes these three guna 
सतरज एंडम इफ वी जस्ट एज्यूम द एब्सेंस ऑफ एनर्जी ऑफ कॉन्शियसनेस देन प्रकृति अलोन इज नथिंग बट द homogeneous mixture of these three guna these three attributes sat raj and tam this is the there is a homogeneous mixture right now when the prakriti comes in contact with the energy of consciousness then the composition of the three attributes or the composition of sakar and nirakar it gets disturbed and this disturbance produces sound in the prakriti now this sound is not the sound of energy of consciousness that is the original sound of the energy of consciousness that sound is not there in the prakriti but in the prakriti due to the influence of that sound it is producing its own sound or we can say the sounds in the prakriti due to different compositions of their attributes the position of the whole cosmos the whole universe and its place along with different dynamic state of the energy of consciousness due to these three reasons different types of sounds are being produced within the prakriti so whatever sounds are being produced in the prakriti it is nothing but the reflection of the primal sound of the energy of consciousness we hear different types of sounds and to do you know or we have also named the sounds okay which are nothing but the letters different letters okay in hindi we have letters like a a e e k kh g like this swar vyanjan and uh, swar and vyanjan in the in english Uh, there are letters a e i u like this okay so in all kinds of languages there are different letters so these letters are nothing but the representation of the different sounds in the prakriti right and from these sounds our language has been developed okay and i mean from this sound not only do we develop our language and our culture this sound is basically the power and from this power the prakriti produces everything else in the in many other scriptures like many saints also say that from this sound from this shabd the whole existence has come into being saint kabir says from this sound the earth has been formed the whole sky has been formed everything whatever exist okay it has been formed from the sound from the shabad so this shabad or this sound is very not only important this is the uh, main power the original power okay which is producing everything else in the prakriti and this sound is nothing but the reflection of the sound of pure consciousness that is why in the sutra shiva says matrika chakra sambodha the perfect knowledge of different letters or different types of sounds 
so whatever sounds are there in the prakriti okay these sounds are nothing but the echo of the original sound of consciousness right. now in the next episodes uh, we'll be taking uh, dip, uh, next uh, sutras okay i think there are two or three more sutras left in the second part okay and then we'll be starting with the third part third part contains many sutras okay and i feel each and every sutra is it is it carries a lot of meaning immense meaning right it looks to be very small sutra is very small okay but it contains immense understanding like in this sutra okay we have understood how the whole existence come into being due to the power of sound and this sound is nothing but the reflection of the pure sound of the energy of consciousness or the pure sound of what we call parmatma so pure energy of consciousness we are referring to as parmatma in yogic sense thank you very much